in the UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. For my money, she is as accomplished a striker as any woman in the game at present. Tonight, though, she's got to focus on keeping this fight upright. She has to stay on her feet. If she is taken down early, it will be a long night for her. She has to manage the space. She has to sprawl and crawl, and she has to fight with that ferocity that she is known for. It's the aggressive attitude, the aggressive approach that she takes that makes her one of the more exciting fighters in the UFC. And she told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday, she doesn't necessarily want to fight on a napkin in the center of the octagon, right? She wants to control distance, manage range effectively. She has certainly done that every step of the way thus far in her UFC career. Well, she's one of the more exciting fighters in this or any division and really came into the UFC with some legitimate striking credentials and she's put those to good use in the big show. And that's why everybody was so excited about her UFC debut. They understood that they were about to witness something truly special. A striker, a fighter with an ability to finish fights with her legs, with her hands, with her elbows, with her knees. There was nothing, no tool at her disposal that she would not use. She was going to use everything gifted to her, and she has done that, and that's why her performances have been so great in the UFC. Yeah, she does not discriminate. She is a true, tried and tested eight-point striker, so try to put on a striking clinic here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Lodin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 133 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Alvy. And now we can see her opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 126 pounds. Fighting out of Lafayette, Louisiana, Bo Crusher. Okay, protect we'll yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your Here we go with round one. Most people are not expecting of a grappler's delight tonight. These women can strike, and that's the type of fight they're expecting. A lot of times people believe when you put two strikers together, they end up wrestling. But these two women have told us, don't even think about calling any grappling. Tonight you watch a kickboxing match inside of the octagon, so be prepared. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Nice kick. Connects with the right. Liver kick. Lands with the right hand. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. So again, they will clinch here. Real steep body kick. Big head kick land. I mean, that right hand landed square. Oh, big kick four there.
Well, she went to the straight left, unable to connect, though. Oh! Big kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that. Big head kick lands. Nice combination of strikes there by Al. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Beautiful body kick. Nice punch there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, spinning back fist. Now connects with a right. Ten seconds to go in the round. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on the bike now. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Well, a punch like that would have felled lesser women, but she survives and gets to fight another round. She's as tough as they come. She's sitting on her bench right now telling her coaches, I'm good. I'm ready to go. That was just a moment. I'm still going to get the victory. I believe she has to change something. She cannot continue to do the same thing and expect a different result. the punch. What a tricky head kick. Alvy's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Straight punch lands. There's no give on that leg kick. Hook shot blocked there by Alvin. Lands the right hand. Oh, huge knee to the body. That'll soften her up. Oh, straight right. Timing her shots nicely here tonight, DC. She's doing a great job, but not only being active, she is so accurate. She's on point tonight. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Big kick lands. Oh, big knee to the body. Man alive. I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. Real nice body kick lands. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. What a body kick. Nice punch lands. Well, she missed that right strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down to get another one off to finish the fight. Outstanding kick there by Alvin. Double there. Double she lands with the left hand. Oh, that's a good right hand. Oh, right there. I'm not sure.
sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. Still. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive hit. Ten minutes in the books. So a big round for her there as she makes her way back to the stool. There was the knockdown there in the middle of the round, DC. Talk us through it. She did a great job of really finding her spot, really recognizing an opportunity, really getting to exactly where she needed to be to finish the fight. But don't think that this young lady will rush. She'll take her time, hopefully get there again to end the night. You ready? You ready? Fight. Third round underway. That's a big strike right there. Ah, she's unable to connect with the left hook. Alvy's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Oh, beautifully done there. She lands another strike to the body. Big body keep land. Oh, nice right hand. Beautiful kick. Flip with the right hand. Right under the elbow, the body keep playing. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Oh, straight right. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Alfred. Oh, clinch position. Watch the knees and the elbows come now. Oh, she is absolutely getting lit up right now. She has certainly changed her approach here in the latter stages of this fight. She is trying to take the judges out of it. That'll certainly help that goal. A nice strike. Try to establish that jab. Again, back into this position. And they separate. Dig and kick. Oh, she, did. And she did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that. Right hand punch. It's a nice back and forth action here. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Well, the right hand has been there for her tonight at times. Not that time. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Right hand upstairs. Oh, big Superman punch there. Way to hide that leg kick. Again. Oh, huge right hand. Oh. What you're gonna see with this young lady, is she gonna finish the fight? Oh, hook to the head by Alcus. <laughs> I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. What a round. So there's the horn, the round is over, and we've got more fighting. It looked like maybe we'd get a finish there after she landed upstairs. Well, she was excited. She thought it was done. How does she reshift? How does she get herself back in the moment to try to repeat what she just did, but also top it and actually get the finish? She continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. It's one thing to be aggressive, but also efficient. Wow. She is certainly doing that. Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! Wow! Wow! What a fight! That 
That'll get the crowd on its feet. A near-perfect land to end the fight for her here tonight. Just the way she drew it up, she had her focus on the knockout, and that's exactly the way this fight ends. I'm not even sure the opponent saw the shot coming. They oftentimes say it's the shot you don't see coming that spells your fate, and that certainly spelled her fate here tonight. Well, that's a knockout they'll be talking about for quite some time. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Here's Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 28 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bo Crusher. Well, there she is. This arena belongs to her here tonight. Hard pressed to find a knockout in the women's game as stunning as that. I mean, she has so much confidence in her hand that she's willing to.